Good afternoon, YouTube, and good afternoon, Hurricane. <laughs> good afternoon, everyone. You have a new job description for the next four to six months, don't you? What's your job description? Um, retired. Retired. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we're battling. We're just getting over whatever we had in our throats. I don't think I don't know if it was CV or not, man. But it was it was rough. It could have been yeah. CV. It was a lot. It was a lot uh, less than what it was last time. We're down here at the Idaho State Park. Uh, green belt it's really beautiful down here a lot of a lot of uh, a lot of puppers down here jumping in the water <laughs> jumping in the water i don't know if they allow people to jump in the water we i might find out here in just a minute um but it's actually kind of cool it's starting to cool down in idaho yeah it's really nice we're sitting here on our pull-out chairs and um on the shade in the shade and um it's it's actually cool that i need a little bit of a jacket you know yeah nice. but that's me though but we uh we have a couple. We have a couple cabin options. We're finalizing uh, which one we want to do. Both of them are kind of uh, semi-remote with the town, like a you know, a couple blocks away, or at least access to you know things you need, like food. a little convenience store. Yeah, food things. and things like that. But other than that, pretty, pretty isolated. And uh, so we're looking forward to that. I'm going to find. We're going to finalize that by Monday. We're going to have some things going on with the tractor. Won't be done till Monday, and we just want to stop a couple days here. And just be done just like we're done we're done we're, we're done from trucking we just have to finish up with the truck here but we're not gonna run any more loads we're gonna start going into vacation mode because it's been a long long time but trucking has provided us the chance to take this kind of a break yes yes trucking has yeah i don't think many people have the privilege to be able to stop for a month or two or three or four and be able to just or five or six or five or six yeah, yeah. And actually feel and feel um, like we're we're set. We're we're good. We're <coughs> we don't have anything to really worry about. And even getting back into the industry is always there for us. So it's incredible. And for those of you that reached out asking what's going on, everything is good. Everything is good. Yeah. There was no no bad blood. Just some things uh, transpired that we had to take a good long look at. Hey, we just we just need a break from the truck. We need a break from this. I know I do. I've been running hard since I was 15 years old. Yeah. Non-stop. I know I need a break. I sold my uh, terminal leave when I left the Air Force. I sold my three months. But within a month of that, I was back to, you know, hustling. So it's, uh, I'm looking forward to the break. This is the first break I've had in that long. But here's what's kind of, besides just a break from trucking, because rates are kind of through the floor. I don't like running for seven days, making what I used to make. Uh, running in five that doesn't appeal to me right now I think there's still some chaos on the horizon I think what's gonna happen let me tell you what I think is gonna happen I could be totally yeah. wrong thank you guys for popping in I could be totally wrong but I do believe this is on the horizon look at all this chaos going on you know uh, Germany just announced that they are going to be capping uh, electrical electricity and you're, you can you can serve three years in jail for getting caught this winter having your thermostat above a certain temperature it's called cap and trade if you go back and look you'll see 44 43 and 44 he did a video he said if my program gets put through with the enter the new green deal the energy deal utilities will necessarily skyrocket well that's already happening and it's going to yeah. happen in the u.s sooner than later happened in california this week california announced three weeks ago that they're gonna go uh, gas-free car, diesel-free car, nothing but electric by 2035. And a week later, they said, do not charge your electric, electric cars after four o'clock in the afternoon. Yesterday, yesterday, they put an emergency power grid shutdown in place. It was either yesterday or the night before. My, my days blend together now. But uh, they put an electrical grid emergency level three in place. Colorado did the same thing. Uh, Besides California, DC is now going to go gas and diesel free electric by, or pardon me, diesel free vehicles by 2035. Virginia is signed up to mirror what California does. I saw this week that like 15 or 25 other states in, in America are mirroring what California does. Here's what's crazy you say that you want that to happen within, you know, 13 years from now. And yet you can't even handle the nominal amount of electric cars on the road now. How are people going to even move around? 
How are they going to move around? This this chaos is going to hit ahead, though. Here's what's happening. All this other chaos, all this stuff going on with all the... Uh, between pick what you identify as today and do what you want to do, I don't care. But the chaos is going across with, with, the, with the sending billions to Ukraine while citizens in America can't even pay their electric bills. People are behind, foreclosures are up, people, people are uh, on, they're the highest credit card debt they've had in the last uh, five years, seven years, I think I've read. That's climbing. Real estate's crashing. The market as a whole is coming to a more of a stop. You see what you see what freight rates are doing. Very tough to be out here running the load boards. I pity some of you guys that have a big old truck payment, and on top of that, you have bills at the house. I pity you guys and girls that have that. I really do. I pity you. You know, and uh, one of the reasons we've kept ourselves debt free. I was we were looking at buying another duplex here in this last two weeks. We got very close to pulling the trigger on the duplex. That duplex has dropped in price $20,000 in a month. That's crazy. And everybody that knows anything, Michael Burry from the big short from back when I, when 08 kissed me with this little sadness, uh, everybody else in that league of investor, they say the crash has just begun and it's going to be worse than 08. And real estate's gonna go, it's gonna crash through 2023, the rest of 22, all of 2023, and part of 2024. That's what they're saying. That's what these guys that do nothing but crunch numbers, that's what they're saying. I've seen it. We were looking at, a, at, a, at an abandoned motel that could be restarted. We looked at that for the last year here, on and off, because it was so cheap. It mm -hmm. just dropped another 40 grand in price. Um, all sorts of chaos going on. I think this, and then you see what happened in Alaska with this this ranked choice voting that nobody seems to have ever heard of, yet it helped them win the race in a state that was red for 40 years. You watch, you guys watch, and I hope I'm wrong. That's one of the reasons we're getting a cabin that's out in the middle of nowhere. I don't wanna be close to civilization. I don't wanna be close to a major city. I don't wanna be close to a major interstate or major highway. When When things pop off, when this election goes a blue wave again like it did last time when that happens again and americans sit up the day after and go what the because if you want to believe that america's re-voting in the current guy i don't even know what to tell you i don't know what to tell you i don't and uh but if you believe that thank god that you you have like total peace because i don't i don't i don't believe anything i'm seeing or, or hearing from anything in the administration right now about us as citizens nothing and it's going to get worse so i want to be away from trucking because i think there's going to be the same thing that happened during the riots in 19 with blm i think the same thing's going to happen when this thing pops off and people start trying to fight it out you start raising it's just it's gotten so crazy i know that it was just to the point i'm like you know what we're stacked we're good let's take a breath let's take a breath and just take care of you and me and then we'll we'll look back over the fence line at the end of january mm -hmm. and that's our plan that's literally our plan we're going to go away for four to six months probably six you know starting on the first of october we'll come back end of january into february 2023 see which direction the freight market's going see where the big boy players are then or see if even trucking is worth getting back into you know because there's still chaos there there's there's companies shutting their doors and i just don't with all this stuff going on and all the time i spent in the military i'm looking forward to just taking a break on the side of a mountain my biggest fear every day is going to be dealing with the bear and the elk and the uh because elk can be dangerous and you know i'd rather deal with a bear though than people <laughs> and wolves but you know we have we have our second amendment with us and uh welcome to wyoming consider everybody armed so that's that's our plan but today we're down here the first day we actually have been able to get out of the out of the hotel i've gone for a walk a mile a day most most mostly yeah and even that's that. been a struggle like last yeah. time it was a struggle last time i couldn't even walk 100 yards for a couple of days yeah so try to get a walk in in the morning get a coffee done I let her get her coffee and her uh breakfast biscuit in <laughs> And we go for a walk and, and today I feel good enough to get out and sit out in the, in the shade. We're grounding right now. Yes. Getting back to all of this. So 
that's that's the plan that's the plan look at this look at this look at this view just gorgeousness out here yeah just gorgeousness these dogs are having so much fun chasing bulls and swimming now that we're sitting down they're not diving into the water they were diving into the water chasing their doggone balls they were those they balls were. were in the air and they were in the <laughs> air hitting the water so that's the plan that's the plan i hope you guys uh we'll keep you posted we'll keep doing some videos here and there uh, got some other things we have, we're working on as well, but we're going to really, really enjoy this time off. Trucking has done this for us. Yes. Trucking has done this for us. No place else you can come and make this kind of money with the, with the job that most people think these guys just couldn't get a real job. Thank God you think that way. Keep going to your cubicle because God knows I'd never want to be in a cubicle the rest of my life, ever. I've done a lot of talking. You want to say anything, pretty girl? Well, I'm still, I'm still a little on the squeaky side, so... Um, uh, but it's just, it's an incredible place to be, you know, and it's, it's incredible to be able to have the opportunity. And, you know, we can always get back into it if we, if we ever want to. It's always there. Trucking's always going to be there, and it's fantastic. But today's been a beautiful day, you know, getting out of bed and just having some coffee, going for a little longer walk than we have been, sitting by the river here and just enjoying life. Enjoying life, baby. Just enjoying life. But it's not really our vacation until we stop completely at the cabin. So yeah. right now we're just still kind of in a little bit of semi-work mode getting things done. Absolutely. But when we stop on the side of the mountain and we're in that cabin, that'll be our first day of our real vacation where we really just stop. We're not worried about tomorrow's load, next week's load, uh, making sure we get back on time, none of that. We're gonna, we're gonna disappear for a while. Still be on YouTube here and there. We yeah. will be, I promise you, we'll do, do some streams. Absolutely. Uh, introduce you to another channel we have, but right now, it's time, it's time. So I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. We're down here enjoying, here's some doggies in the water. Here's some doggies in the water. Where are they? Right there, you see them to the left of where I'm sitting. Kind of to the right of the tree, near the side yeah. there. I didn't go too far. Nope, that's them. Yeah. That's them. Just enjoying life. <laughs> it's a beautiful day. So we're gonna get back to grounding, coffee, and watching the doggos. You guys have a great afternoon, a great Thanks rest of your morning. week. What is it Thursday? Yes, I think so. You know what day it is for for us? What? It's just another day, baby, because we're on just vacation. Another day. <laughs>